In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the copy and paste features uh, to start filling in your song from the intro that you just created. So first of all, right now I'm going to close my loops window because I don't need this right away. So this four measure phrase that we created for an intro is what we're going to use for our verses. So again, music is very repetitious. And so copying and pasting is a huge part of creating our song. So to copy and paste, first I want to select all four of these regions together. So I can do that by clicking and then holding the shift key down on my keyboard and clicking all four regions. So now I have all four regions selected. Another option instead of shift to click is if I just start with my cursor down here, if I click and drag across the four regions, it'll select all four regions. Now the copying paste is very easy. First, I'm going to find the option key on my computer keyboard. Uh, it is next to the command key. So I'm going to hold my option key down. And then once I hold my option key down, I'm going to move my cursor up to the center of one of these regions. Be careful that you don't have your cursor over here on the edge so that you're getting one of these other cursor symbols. Your cursor is right in the middle. Now, as I'm holding the option key down, I simply click and drag. Now, when I click and drag, I want to make sure that I have this lined up with the grid in GarageBand. Once I have it lined up, I'm going to release the mouse and then release the option button. So now I have copied and pasted this phrase into verse one. But if you look at verse one, we haven't completed it yet. It's eight measures long and our phrase is four. So all I'm going to do is click and drag again. I'm going to hold my option key down, click, drag, make sure that my regions are lined up with my grid and drop. So now I have a completed verse section. Now, when I go to the second verse, my second verse is going to be exactly the same music as verse one. So what I'm going to do is copy this in verse one and paste it over here in verse two. So to do that, I'm going to click and drag across all these regions. So now I've selected all eight measures of verse one. Now I hold down my option key, click, drag. And again, I'm going to make sure that I'm lined up with my grid and then I'm going to drop. So now I have verse one and verse two completed. So the next step is going to be to come in and create my chorus section. So the next video I have, I'm going to show you how to create your chorus and your bridge.